What's going on guys? Welcome back to another run here at American Truck Simulator. Today I've got the International 9400i Eagle. This is a recently updated mod. I'll have the link down in the description for you. Underneath the hood is a Detroit Diesel 550 horsepower. Let's double, double check this here. Let's go on to diagnostics. Uh, 525 horsepower Detroit Diesel. And it has its own grouping of engines. Uh, I did start off with a... Cummins, I believe it was. Didn't like the sound, so I went with this one. The engine brake on this one is a little obnoxious, so be ready for that one if you pick this engine. But uh, in in tow today is the Load King drop deck trailer, hauling a Velocity drop deck trailer. So I thought that was uh, that looked all right. So I don't use the Load King that often. The Velocity is always active, and I think I'm going to leave the uh, Load King always active as well brings in more choices as far as what to haul so time for me to shut the hell up once again for a few minutes and get rolling today's route is taking me from winnemucca over to Truckee to caterpillar so i'm leaving a cat going to a cat Ivan once again standing in the middle.
bad sounding truck by any means. So what's going on guys? How have you been? Man, weather is just all over the place. Last week it got up to almost, it, it was in the 60s I think, for like one day. And then old man Winter said, uh-uh, get the hell out of here with that crap. And came back in, and now we're back into the teens, single digits, so... Welcome to winter. That's just the way it goes sometimes. But this truck here isn't that bad. I I have not adjusted the seat. Uh, so it feels like I'm right up on the wheel. You know, maybe moving it back might be a little better. I feel like I'm a little too close to the wheel for comfort. At least how I would sit if I was driving. But uh, other than that, it's got a handful of options for you. Bumpers, uh, two locations for the stacks. Uh, it's got the headache rack, as you guys have already seen back there. So it's not a bad little setup here. You know, not all trucks have to have the same amount of tuning options as, like, the 389 from Viper or the Volvo from Arda. You know, they, they, they don't need to have insane numbers of uh, upgrades, you know, that, that, but as long as they've got more than, like, what uh, the, no, not the internet, the Western Star used to have, you know, or some of these other trucks I see where it's only got, like, six, six option bubbles on there, and that's it, you know, you can put license plates on, change the tires, and maybe, you know, two or three other things, and then that's it, you know, that's just pretty lame. In my opinion, that's pretty boring. You know, that that's that's personalized things. That's uh, make it our own. Changing the color and putting different rims on there for me just isn't enough. It might be for you guys. I'm sure for some it is, but uh, I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure for the vast majority of us, that's pretty pretty boring. So also. I guess, you know, I'm on top of everything that goes on. 1.6 is out. Or, I'm sorry, not 1.6, 1.3. I don't know why the hell I just said 1.6, but 1.3 is out. That came out last week. Reading the blog, it was basically just a maintenance update, and that's what they actually say in their blog. It's just a maintenance update, nothing special. They didn't add anything. They didn't uh, really do anything to... Uh, introduce anything or nothing, you know, it's just a maintenance update, fixed a couple of issues, and that was it. So, I, it, it almost seems to me like it really wasn't a necessary update, but it was just something they wanted to do to get equal with ETS2. And I have to wonder now if that's going to be the way this game's going to remain. This game is going to remain one step behind ETS2. For a while, it was the other way around. And my god, the outcry from ETS2 players about that, they were not happy. They were not happy whatsoever. And, of course, as we already know, you know, ETS2 is their bread and butter. And ATS is, you know, kind of like a part-time thing, you know? That's how it feels, anyway. Um, you know, so for a while, ATS was leading the way with stuff that we would get first and ETS2 would... But this recent, uh, the recent actions, uh, it kind of point to the other direction now. Now they do say because of the releases that they've had for ETS2 back in December and, and along with the holidays, they weren't comfortable uh, releasing the update for ATS, going on vacation and finding out that they were going to be hot fixes because there was issues. And that's just the way it is, you know, I'm sure there's someone, well, why can't they make sure there's not going to be any issues beforehand? Well, you know, the test batch of people that they have are not going to be able to test everything that every Joe Schmo is going to be able to do. So, you know, they get the, they get the basics done, and that's about it. You know, they're driving a truck like how you or I are driving right now. But... You know, they don't drive their truck at 120 miles an hour and run it off, off into the field over there like some other morons might do. You know, so, you know, they don't do all that little stuff. 
they don't do all those, the the things that other people will do when it's not intended to be done. So, you know, things like that, as well as a couple other minor things that they might have missed. You know, driving along the shoulder right here, for example, they're not going to drive along the shoulder. You know, it. That's basically what all this is: is they're testing the game and they're playing it legitly. And yeah, some things do fall through the crack, but you know, every game's like that though. They, when they go out and put it in a testing, they don't have the time or the manpower or the patience to try to do every goofy little thing that some 12 year old is gonna do. They can't idiot proof it. That's what I'm getting at here. So they didn't feel like releasing it right before Christmas was going to be a good idea, so they decided to wait. Fortunately, as I'm sure some of you already know, ATSMP has also updated almost right away. Uh, don't know if they fixed any of the stuff with the game, like collision areas and things like that, so be cautious about that. Now, this video is coming out on Wednesday. It's Sunday as I record it. So, you know, saying, hey guys, go check out Twitch might be a little late. But uh, Moose and I were talking about uh, doing some ATS over on Twitch on Sunday. So, if you guys missed that, uh, make sure you head on over to Twitch. You don't even have to, you know, join Twitch in order to watch a live stream or watch a past replay. So you guys can go check out that replay there. Uh, or any replay for that matter. And the funny thing about Twitch is, you know, ATS doesn't stream well over there, except for maybe a, a select few individuals. It's not really known for being an ATS place. ETS does better, obviously, more people. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I proposed this question while I was streaming Farm Sim. You know, hey, do you guys want to see me do ATS? You know, I think it was for Friday or something. Yeah, it was, it was for Friday. Because I didn't know what I wanted to play. And a resounding, not 100%, but a resounding majority said hell no to ATS. So, it, it's, I, I gotta, gotta laugh out of it because over here on YouTube, ATS is king on my channel, obviously, because I've been doing it since the game first came out. Farm Sim, the numbers are dwindling, but they're still decent. Still far better than Seven Days to Die, for example. So, you know, I found it funny that if I were to stream over here on YouTube, ATS would be king. If I were to stream over on Twitch, ATS would be dead and Farm Sim would be king. And that's how it is over there. For me, anyway. And so, you know, it's just a tale of two worlds, really. And I'm fine with that. You know, I'm really enjoying Farm Sim playing PV17. Um, you know, I'm, I, I really enjoy playing the game, period. More so than I do ATS, to be honest. And, you know, that's just, how, that's just that, you know, if you guys have noticed, I'm putting up more farm sim videos than I do ATS. Um, I'm still tossing around the idea of doing iRacing, um, you know, they've got the rally cars in the world, in there now, and that's really tempting, it really is. But I just haven't found time to remember to do it. You know, that's my main thing is remember, remembering what the, you know, to sign up. And then I'm also worried, alright, I'm going to sign up for it and I'm only going to play it three times and I'm just wasting my money again. So there is that factor as well. So, if you guys are interested in seeing iRacing here on YouTube, you know, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll take that into consideration. And the videos do alright, you know, so... And I enjoy it. It's just finding time. You know, I stream on Twitch five days a week. Because I enjoy streaming that much. The pain in the ass part is figuring out what to play. 
I've been playing Escape from Tarkov recently. I've played PUBG a handful of times, Rocket League, uh, Farm Sim, obviously. So, I mean, there's been a, a variety of games that I have been streaming over there, and they've done fairly well. Um, I enjoy playing them, and that's the main thing. I, I what I'm going to stream is I enjoy playing. It's just uh, trying. It's a, it's like flip a coin. You know, what am I going to play tonight? I have to get some kind of base down though. Farm Sim's the base, but yeah, I hate to harp on it again, guys. But still, yeah, if I, you know, actually, I had a, a message on Steam while I was streaming, and so uh, you know, I'm like, oh, what the hell? I go in. Well, what are you, what are you doing? As, uh, well, I'm busy streaming. Now, for most people, oh, okay, sorry to bother you, or not even reply. Are you on YouTube? No, I'm on Twitch. Can I join you? Can I be in one of your videos? No. Go away. I'm busy streaming. You know, I'm trying not to be an ass, but, you know, it, it, I'm busy. It, <laughs> why are you still talking? So, it, it, to me, that's just courtesy went out the window there. But uh, finally, that conversation ended. And then I said, you know what? Screw this. And I cleaned up the friends list. So everyone that has added me as a friend on Steam, I'm sorry to say, guys, I had not anymore. <laughs> I went from over 300 friends down to like 60 or something, or even less than that. It's crew members. Uh, Oh, get wrecked. Uh, close, uh, you know, Twitch subscribers, things like that. People that, uh, you know, I've become accustomed to, things like that. So, if you guys... So that's the N14. N14 that's in here for the Detroit diesel sound. I thought it sounded familiar. But yeah, if you guys had me as a friend over there, sorry, but I removed everyone. I'm, I'm offline all the time, and that's for a reason. You know, I, I don't use the friends list over there on, on Steam. I don't. And that's why I've mentioned before, you know, adding adding me as a friend over there is pointless. You're not going to talk to me because I'm always offline. And if I am online, it's because I have to be because we're playing Spin Tires or Rocket League, which uses a Steam's friends list. In which case, um, you know, I wish I could still be offline or I wish I could move myself to busy or something. You know, that way I don't get starting, you know, I don't start getting... I am saying, hey, what's up? Can I come drive with you? No, you can't. I'm, I'm busy. Go away. So, yeah, I did not turn my wipers on. Why are my wipers on? Why are my wipers on, damn it? Which button is it? No, it's not that one. I don't remember which button it is to turn off my wipers. All I did was turn the turn signal. There it is. Ugh, remembering which one. <laughs> Between all the buttons on the wheel, the button box and everything, you know, the, the side tech panel I have here. 
figuring out which one's which is annoying. All right, where am I going here? Was it over there? I dismissed it. Uh, where's my drop off? Oh, this isn't it. Crap. God, there's a construction construction site down the road. I have actually done that in the real world too. get used to going to one place so often and then when you see it come up on your route for that day it's like oh okay yeah no problem I'll put that here and that route and then and then you get there and they're like no you're supposed to go over here son of a <laughs> you know I've done that before both when I was delivering caskets and also when I was working for the used oil company So, uh, yeah, ended up clearing out a huge amount of people there, and not to be rude or anything, but I'm not going to be accepting any more invites. I'm either going to ignore them, or I'm just, you know, hit the ignore to clear them out, or I'm just not going to do anything with them. I like this truck with this engine sound. I do. But I mean, believe me, guys. I mean, I don't mean to sound like a Jagoff or anything. I'm sure, you know, people have already downvoted. Oh, he's being, you know, doesn't want to be my friend. Well, I mean, to be honest, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm not here to be your friend. But, uh, you know, it, it is what it is, you know? And... I can't make everyone happy. I stream five nights a week. I take two nights off to spend time with the wife. It's our, our date night. You know, I, I, I've already got a full schedule of things that I do. And more than I should, probably should be, to be quite honest. But, you know, I, I just don't have time. I don't. Now, I know I'm going to end up having to add friends because the way Steam works is when I do giveaways, I have to, and I, and I do it through Steam, if I'm gifting the game to someone, you have to be a friend. So, when that time comes, then yes, I will be adding someone as a friend, and then I will probably take them off the friends list. But, uh, you know, I, oh, I can't, ah, uh, headset's all messed up again. I mean, I can't have half a Steam as a friend. Am I that far off? I can't turn my head all the way around. Head tracker won't go for some reason. I think I need to readjust it. Brakes, turn those off. 
And that is going to do her, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully you understand about the whole friends list thing. I will be back next week with a couple more runs here for you guys, a fleet skin as well as another truck or just chit-chat. So until next time, make sure you check the description for all the mods, links to Twitch, Facebook, and Twitter. Take it easy.